Hi, welcome to Business Automated. Today I will show you how to send automated emails to your stored contact list. What we will be using for that is Microsoft Excel, Outlook 365 and Integromat. Let's get going. The first step is to create an Excel file that will contain the list of the contacts to which you want to send emails. And you can see that we are using for that uh, OneDrive and in a dedicated folder inside of OneDrive, we are having two files. So the first file is the email list. It's an Excel that contains all the email addresses that we will be using. The second file is just the file where I have written the content of the email that we will be sending out. So it's easier for us to find. So let's get back to the, to the Excel. And inside of Excel, you can see that we are having columns for the name, for the email. We are also having a column called subject. And then we're having a separate column for body of the email and then status. The status will indicate whether this email has been sent out or not. So let's copy the subject here and let's copy the body of the email without the salutation in the, in the beginning. So let's copy everything that there is and we are entering the cell and pasting everything inside of the cell. As you can see, the, the bold formatting went away and, and that's okay. So this way we will not be able to use the bold formatting, but I will show you another way how to do it. Let's just reduce the size of the column a little bit. Okay. And let's copy this over here as well. With this setup, you can actually use different subject and different uh, email body for each of the emails that you're sending. So it's possible to, for example, change the name of the conference that you are having here. So we change the second one into a car insurance conference. So you can see that we are having a different subject and different email body for each of the contacts that we are having here. So it's possible to use one or another subject for the contacts that we are adding. Okay, so once we have the subject and the email content, how are we going to send this to, uh, to the recipient over here? For that, we'll use a software called Integromat. If you have not used Integromat before, you can um, check the link to Integromat in the description of this video, but it's basically a, a very simple no-code software that allows you to automate workflow. So I have initiated a new scenario and the first module that we are adding here will be Excel. We are selecting Microsoft Excel 365 and from the list of different choices that we have here, we'll select Watch Worksheet Rows. And this module will tell us that new rows have been added to this Excel sheet. All right. Here you can see that I have already added my connection. If you don't, then click. If you do not have it already, then click Add. And the next step is to select the workbook that you will be using for this exercise. So we need to find workbook here. The next step is to select the correct worksheet. There's only one, so that's not difficult. Skip empty rows, we can maintain it. And limit means how many emails we will send at a time. We can keep it at two, we can increase it to two, 200, but let's keep it at two for the time being. So let's click OK. And now it will ask us, and now it will ask us if we want to start for a specific ID, but since we're starting the scenario, let's just click all. This means it will start sending emails to all the rows in um, our sheet. All right, let's do this. And now let's click run once. And you can see that it actually has found row two and row three inside of our, our sheet. So these were the additional rows. When we go back, when we run it again, you will see no new rows have been found because we haven't added, we have not added any new rows. So for this to trigger again, we'll have to add a new row. So in this case, we'll just copy paste the first email and change the name to. And I have turned off the wrapping of the row, so it's a little bit easier to see. But as you can see, it's still formatted inside over there. OK. So this is a new email that has been added over here. It takes a few seconds for uh, this to be synced back to OneDrive and so on. But after a while, you will be able to see that, after a few seconds, you'll be able to see that there is a new row that I was discovered.
to our right, so you can see row 4, you should give it about 30-45 seconds for for Excel to realize and for this trigger to, to, to work. So uh, now you can see that this additional row has been added and you can see the name and you can also see what email is being used over there as well, subject and all the other remaining data points. All right, so once we have this information coming into Integromat, the next step obviously is to set the Outlook to send out the email. So let's go to Integromat and let's add a new module and it will be called email. Email 365, so that is basically what you otherwise see as Outlook, and that's uh, the way we will be using to send out emails within the uh, Microsoft 365 suite. And here we will select create and send a message. We're connecting it to the previous module, so it snaps. And now this is the place where we will take the data that come from Excel. So in this case, subject, we will select the subject from from here and you can see here there are different options formula formula local number format and so on in this case we are willing we want to use the text value so you can see that there is a text and there's value value type you can ignore everything else just use the sub field which is called text and this will be the text of the subject the next part will be the body content and because as you remember we were copying only the content of the email without the salutation what we will do here we will type the salutation hi and then we will add the name of the person and the name of the person will be also here and now we will do next step here which will be breaking of the breaking of the row and now we will add next step here which will be the actual body content of the email and here we have text so this is the email um, content of the body importance we can ignore and one more important element is to click on the show advanced settings and select that in this case we are sending this as text all right let's add comma at the end of the salutation and to recipient this is the place where we click add item and as an email address we are finding the email here and the name of the person similar way here okay and that is it that's everything that we will need so now we can click ok and we will add one more thing for us just to get a status update that this email has been sent out and this will be a very simple activity we click microsoft 365 and we'll click update update a worksheet row we put this at the end the connection is the same and let's select a workbook the same as before type of values being entered it's going to be values and for the row instead of selecting specific row here we will do the map and here we will map the row id to what we are getting from the first module so let's click over here and then what we will do we will not modify anything else but in the status we will just type send okay so now i'll click just to save it just in case so now the scenario is complete and we need to add a new row so let's try again adding this row and we will call it row greg3 all right and then let's give it 40 seconds and we will run integromat all right we can see that the scenario is processing and there was an email that has been sent and we are also getting the excel updated but let's check our sent out box in excel all right and we can see that there was an email sent saying it was great chatting with you during the life insurance conference and you can see that there is a salutation or maybe we should add one more enter over here so the email has been sent out with the formatting as we wanted and we can also see that this email has arrived and let's try to send the second email 
you can see here that the status has been updated, that this email was sent, and let's go back to Integromat and send the second email. All right, and the second email was sent out as well. There you can see the second email now with a better looking enter. Okay, so I will show you at the end of the video how to schedule it so you don't have to uh, click run once all the time. But let's look at one more thing. As we are seeing, there is no formatting in this email. So to do the formatting, we'll have to use a slightly different trick. In this case, what we will do, we will basically take all that text over here with the formatting that we would like. We'll do copy paste and we'll go to a website which is called html-online.com slash editor, which is a simple HTML editor which allows us to convert the text that we copy paste over here into, into a simple HTML and so on. So we can just copy paste whatever we're getting here on the other side. And now let's go back to Integromat and what we will do in this case, we will not be using the, the email body here anymore. So this column can actually be even, uh, even deleted. But what we will use instead, we will replace the body content here with the HTML. So now we will change the, the text to HTML, the body content type to HTML. And now we will be sending out the same fixed HTML. So that means we cannot, we can still change the subject, but we cannot change the, the email, email body over here. What we could do, we could keep the email body here, but maybe just have the name of the conference. So we could, for example, say car life. And let's go back here and you will see here in the salutation where we have the name instead of hi and these ones, this crazy characters before comma, we will delete all of them. And here we will insert the name, name of the contact. And you have to find in this little bit crazy looking HTML, you need to find instead of life, we will still use that email body column and we will use text here. So that means we will automatically replace this one phrase inside of the email for the phrase that is coming from the email, email body. Okay. And let's see how, let's see how this one will, will work. So let's copy two of them and let's try to send two emails at the same time. The subject is still being taken from, from here. All right, and because we have added two new rows, we are actually sending two emails at the same time. So now we can go into our sent, sent mailbox and we can see that there are two new emails that were sent out and these are with actually proper formatting. So you can see the, the bold and everything as we had in that HTML email. The same for this email over here. And this is the same way as it shows up in our customer email or the person that will receive it. So you can see that the formatting is proper here. All right, the only difference is that now we are not using the full email body here, but we can be using one column to customize this email, which means we could also customize a few more phrases here and have additional columns and use the content from those additional columns to customize the content of the emails that we have created. The final step is once we have the scenario ready and saved, we will need to set the scheduling for, um, for this scenario and then turn on automatic, uh, turn on the scheduling so that email is being sent automatically. Or let's say, for example, Integromat checks every day or in regular intervals, whether there are new rows inside of, uh, inside your contact list that uh, could be used to send out emails to. All right, so you can set it out to, for example, check it um, every day at specific time. And here you can increase the limit of uh, emails found at the time and set it to, for example, 20. And it would run every day. And as you keep adding new contacts to your list, 
you'll be able to see that the emails are being sent out to those particular contacts. All right, I hope this was uh, useful for you guys and please let me know what other things you would like to automate in your business. Thanks a lot. Bye.